Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai. Today we're going to be working on my Podocarpus bonsai. Uh, this is a very slow growing plant, at least in Canada here. I've had this tree probably probably 15 years. Uh, it started as a small nursery plant, probably the size of this one. And uh, yeah, it grows fast in the right conditions, but uh, we just don't seem to get those right conditions very often, so it, it's grown fairly slowly over the last 15 years. Uh, the Podocarpus comes in two varieties mainly. Uh, there are tons of varieties of this tree. Uh, you can get a small leaf one, like this, or the larger leaf one, and both make good bonsai. Uh, over here I've got some cuttings that I took from this plant when I pruned it. I just stuck them in the soil and uh, they grew quite nicely so it looks like you can take cuttings fairly easily from these trees. So I'm going to put the small leafed ones away. We're not going to do anything to those today but we are going to work on this large leaf podocarpus. I haven't done much work to this tree in uh, quite a few years actually. So it's kind of in a state that you would probably buy one from a nursery. It's in a pot nursery pot and it's uh, kind of a, a tangled mess. There's just leaves everywhere. It's hard to see any branches. There's a lot of dead leaves on the inside here. Let me picking out. So this tree, it's one of those trees um, when you're growing bonsai from young trees you start off with a small seedling or a little plant from a nursery and they sit on your benches and they grow and you prune them a bit and they grow again and slowly they go from being a little seedling to starting to actually look like a tree and uh, yeah it's kind of a it can be a long process you know starting from a very young plant and getting it to the point where it looks like a bonsai tree. And this tree is not at that point yet. It still looks like a young tree, but we're going to do some work on it and see what we can do to it. In the close up here, you can start to see some of the nice texture forming on the trunk. There's also a bit of moss I'm going to remove. Some old dried up moss on the trunk. Because again, you want to see the texture of your bark. Not moss growing up your trunk. That looks better. Okay, we've got our front picked. The next question we want to ask ourselves is what do we want the tree to look like? Um, do we want it to look like a pine tree? Do we want it to look like a tropical tree? So, my next step is I'm going to go on the internet and I'm going to look up. Uh, Podocarpus trees and try and get a flavor for what these trees look like in nature and uh, we'll come back. Hi, I'm back from doing my internet research on Podocarpus trees. Uh, it looks like the natural form of a Podocarpus tree in nature is a tropical tree style which is large trunk with a umbrella shaped canopy on it. Uh, broom style or you know tropical tree style or deciduous tree style. Um, a lot of the bonsai trees you'll find on the internet, Podocarpus bonsais, a lot of them are styled as pines but not all of them. Some are some mimic the natural form of the tree but a lot are styled as pines so it would be like a a yew tree, tropical type yew tree in, in looks. Um, I'm going to style mine as a tropical tree. Uh, I like to keep my trees as close as I can to their natural form. And when you have a tropical tree style, you have a lot of leaves on top, you have a nice canopy, and the trees grow really quickly and they grow with lots of health and vigor. If you prune it more as a pine tree style, you're going to have less foliage on the tree. It's going to be a little a little more delicate I would say when you go you know when you're taking care of the tree 
usually the more foliage you have on a tree the stronger it is it's more resistance to pests and diseases and everything so so we're going to keep this tree as a tropical tree style uh, just a quick warning on the tree all parts of the podocarpus are poisonous the leaves the trunk the bark and if you have allergies uh, they can they can form little flowers that release pollen in spring and that's also poisonous so if you breathe in that dust from the pollen or if you breathe in the pollen uh, it can affect you so it, it's similar to a yew tree uh, they're very poisonous also so just a word of caution uh, if you're allergy sensitive be careful of these in spring, especially if they have little flower buds on them, which will release pollen. Okay, so let's get started with the pruning. So what I want to do initially is style the overall shape, so a rounded canopy. So anything that's jutting too high out of that canopy, I'm going to prune back. So for instance here, you can prune it back shorter. And here, and I want to keep some some of the older leaves on the tree if I can. I don't like pruning back to wood. They will back bud on old wood these trees, but at this stage, I don't want to stress the tree too much. I just want it to prune it back to shape. So again, I'm just checking the overall shape of the canopy. We're maybe a little long on this side of the tree. So we'll prune this back shorter. And some of these tips that, they're not too long, but I'm just gonna prune the tip off to encourage ramification so that branch will divide from one into two hopefully and out the back we've got a bit of trimming to do here Let's keep the tree a little more compact and a nasty bar branch back here we got two branches growing opposite each other and we got a, another one here I think we'll take this this one off always keeping two branches if we can clean out some of those dead leaves okay so most of the growing tips have been pruned now and the shape is being roughly brought under control. So the next thing we want to do to the tree is remove some of the really old leaves. Um, the more leaves you remove off the tree, the less energy the tree will get from sunlight. So we don't want to remove too much. We want to keep enough to keep the tree really vigorous. So, But we do want to remove leaves from problem areas where some of these smaller branches just aren't getting any light. So I'm going to remove some of these older leaves. And these are leaves that have been on the tree for quite a while and there's a junction later on on the branch that has new leaves on it. And some of the old leaves are quite tired looking. So by getting rid of them, we'll get some light into the tree. But again, we don't want to remove too many.
any leaves that are crossing or facing inwards to the design we want to get rid of. You can almost treat your leaves like branches. You know, ones that are shaded out, you can remove. Ones that are crisscrossing, you can remove. We can also remove any leaves that are pointing downwards. They're not getting much light. So we'll get rid of those too. And the tree will look a little bare, but it'll slowly get towards a tropical tree style. Pinch a tip here, growing tip. There. That's a little better. We're getting light in towards the some of the older sections of the tree. Getting rid of some of these branches that are or leaves that are crossing. Okay, let's have a look at it. Uh, we still got some brand leaves hanging down pretty good here. We'll get rid of. It also makes it hard to water if you have a lot of foliage that hangs down around the trunk. It's nice to be able to get in and water it from all sides. As I've said, the leaves that hang down, they don't really get much sunlight anyway. I don't know what that was. So it doesn't look like we've removed much foliage, but uh, we've probably taken, you know, a third to a half off, which is enough. So the last thing we're going to do is give it a nice watering. And I think in summer we'll uh, you know, give it a nice pot and uh, see if we can keep growing the canopy and uh, try and give it that tropical tree look and see how it does. So that's all the work we'll be doing to this tree for today. I'll just rotate it around and back to the front. So thanks for watching. Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai. We'll see you next time.